You know it. So what kind of price is we talking then? Oh, sorry. No, that was a fluke. No, you won't, Skill. You've got a good range, have you? Morning. Hiya. Yeah, he won't get this next one here. Just watch me. Well, what's your opening hours if we get down there today then? Good shift. Oh, it was a shift from hell if you want the truth. Mum, she just won't eat this porridge. Well, put some honey on it. Bought and rot all the tea. Well, a bit's not gonna hurt. You were saying? Oh, give me a chance. Make room for Martin, you two. Oh, why not, Joe? Um, so, well, we might come down there today, then. Yeah, thanks very much. Bye. They've got a good selection up there. Oh, great. Do you hear that, Sarah? What? Shop on the ring road. Oh. Uh, that's it for Beth. <laughs> oh, OK. But we might pop up there later. Yeah, brilliant. And you call that a skill deal, or what? You try to do better. Hey, you two, keep your voices down, will you? Martin's been working all night. He's tired. It's all right. I'm OK. Shall I get you some breakfast? No, I've got something in the canteen at work, yeah. Sorry. We're a bit all over the place today. Not much you can do about that with a family in the house, girl. No. Look, I'm fine, honestly. You must want to get your head down. Look, it doesn't matter, really. Look, why don't we all go and get this baby seat, go for a spin after and have some lunch out somewhere? Leave Martin in peace for a few hours. How about that? Sounds good to me. Oh, can Todd come? Don't see why not. How's that seat, Martin? You don't need to do this for me. Well, you need to get your head down for a few hours, don't you, before tonight? Yeah. Right. Then we'll do it. Are you crying? No, uh, we're going yeah. out so your dad can get some sleep. I feel like I'm driving you all the way. Oh, I do. It's good to get some country air. I can't camp out here forever, though, no, can I? Wait till you find somewhere else. Yeah, there's no rush, really. Are you Todd next to me? Are you Todd next to me? Yeah, shift over. Yeah, and shut up. All in a belted up. Yes. Uh, have a good day, then. Yes, sweet dreams. Bye bye. Oh, why don't you wake him up? Shall I? Just let him sleep. So, what's the verdict on the child seat then? I think it's brilliant. Good. Yeah, thank you very much. If it wasn't a bit bigger, we could strap David in there as well. <laughs> in your dreams, old man. Hey there. All right. So you get back. I thought you were upstairs. No, I've uh, I've moved into Kevin's. Why? You've no need to know. Well, no, but. Well, I was just getting under your feet here. Uh, girl's right, Martin, man. You don't have to. No, I know, but it's a lot easier over there. See, they're working days, so I can kick when I'm on nights. I was hoping you could babysit for me. All right, I can still do that for you. I enjoyed having you here. You what? You were whinging after one night. That was crowding you out. Didn't mean it. Look, I'm just round the corner like I was before, so you can come round when you want. Maybe it's for the best. I mean, we don't really have the room, do we? So... There's the keys. Just wish we could have done more for you, Martin. Richard, you saved my life. What more could you have done? 